the choice of engines for the baby is good, everyone can find a motor to their liking. The range also includes several units with impressive characteristics. The atmospheric 1.4 liter is considered the most reliable. However, its 16-valve version is prone to high oil consumption and the same engine, armed with a turbocharger, does not cause serious problems. The 0.9 twin air and 1.4 multi-year units are more troublesome, problems with the electrohydraulic control system of the intake valves are common. Repairs are very expensive, in addition, high power taken from a small volume does not promise long and trouble-free operation. In addition to gasoline engines, there are also diesel engines, the most reasonable of which is 1.6 GDM, it is a little more voracious, much more dynamic and breaks down less often than 1.3, the latter require replacement of the timing chain after 150,000 km. The only problem with the 1.6 is the particulate filter, when operating such a car mainly in the city, trouble with it is inevitable. You should pay attention to the tightness of the cooling system. Leaks are a fairly common phenomenon. Usually it is enough to replace one of the O-rings, the malfunction is not serious. There is a failure of the power steering. In such a situation, some authorized services offer to replace the entire steering mechanism assembly. The cost of the procedure is considerable, but there is no need for this since the problem is solved simply by replacing the left wheel position sensor. The lambda probe and generator are not durable. In cold weather, the speed of a manual transmission may stop turning on. Water enters through cracks in the protective shell. Difficulties with switching can also be caused by worn TST synchronizers with a double clutch, this is an analog of the DSG transmission used by Volkswagen. Considering the potential maintenance and repair costs, you should stay away from an automated box. Minor inconveniences include the creaking of non-original brake pads. The easiest way to eliminate somewhat strong braking, if this does not help, you can clean the pads with sandpaper or replace them with new original ones. The notice is also caused by the creaking of plastic interior panels and seats, as well as the abrasion of chrome decorative coatings too quickly. The electrics are not without their shortcomings, but they make mistakes no more often than in other cars, for example, sometimes the xenon light control system or the rear window wiper fails. The suspension does not require repairs every 30 to 40,000 kilometers as on 147 or 156 models. The operation of the front suspension is accompanied by knocking noises, a common ailment of Fiat Group cars. So far, nothing has been heard about problems with corrosion, but after winter it is worth inspecting the chrome-plated body elements. First of all, take a look at the grille, handles and headlight surrounds. 